So I went to Aldi and I got I got one I got some food. It's not been on the channel yet. Not reviewed anything like that before. Um, and it was new. So well, they said it was new. So I'm looking forward to. I've had it before, but not from Aldi. And I've not had it on the channel, so I'll keep you guessing on that one. See, see if you can guess what it is. Ten points. Ten points for the winner. Right. Well, I'm going to get. Um, I'm going to. I'm not going back that way because it's total gridlock. I'm going to go the coastal way back to my house. So I'll set you up on the windscreen and we'll go for a little drive. It is going past the beach. However, there'll be no ice creams. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll just set you up here now. So I realise that this video won't be for everyone. You know, um, it's a neither here, neither there video, kind of, isn't it, really? Um, but you'd be surprised, oh, there's a chippy on the left-hand side here. See the sign? It's open. It's a new chippy, that Priory Place. I'll have to give that a bash. I've heard it's pretty good. Uh, I, I, sorry, I was digressing then. Um, I got caught off guard by that chippy. Uh, I get a few comments, actually, saying, after I've done me sort of out road trip videos, <laughs> I get a few comments from quite a lot of people actually and they say, um, you know, we, we don't get out a lot, you know, because, um, you know, maybe maybe old or there's, you know, there's, they, they can't walk or something like that very well and they said they enjoy my road trips out, it's particularly the the view of the road because it's, it, they say it feels like they're out on a jolly so you know, I know it's not for everyone, but it is for someone, isn't it? So then that's all that matters. So we're going down the course road now, past Bardsey. A good friend of mine passed away a few years ago now, and um, his good lady um, put a memorial seat down, overlooking the sea. He used to come down here on his motorbike a lot. And it, I was just gonna show you that was all. It was a lovely seat. I think it was made out of like, stone or some sort of granite. Uh, anyway, I can't find it. It's, I don't know if it's been moved somewhere else. So that was that's a bit of an anticlimax, isn't it? So, but yeah, it was a good good friend of mine. We shared many a night out together on the lash, going back when I just met my good lady back in 1999. So I would normally turn off to the right here, but I'm going to take you to uh, a milk hut. Um, I was, I've never been before, but you can get milk there. <laughs> um, and it's produced by the farmers locally here. And it's it's like a vending machine. I don't really know much about it. It's like a vending machine for milk. Um, and you just pay it, pay it there and then you, and you, can get, you can get fresh milk. Straight from the sort of dairy, I think. So, we, so we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have a look, see if it's open. It's just up, up here and around the corner uh, and over yonder. So it's just up ahead here. I actually learned to drive on this bit of road here with my granddad taught me. There's like a little lay-by up on the left hand side where that van is. Just this lay-by here and I used to just get in the, my granddad's car and I used to just drive drive to the end here up to fifth gear or fourth gear and then I used to used to make me reverse all the way back up the lay by and I used to go up and down there learning how to change gears <laughs> back in there back in the day so it's just here it is the mill cut it's just here now there it is there look the milk hut have a look at that, and there's the cows look in the shed. So we're gonna have to get gonna have to try and get parked here so they're not near a big puddle. And there's a there's a there's a car park put just pulled up as well, so oh there's a big puddle there. There it is in there, look. The mill cut. High Rose Roosbeck Farm Gold's Barrow Fresh pasteurised whole milk There they are, there's There's Bessie <laughs> That's it there, look Please select product 
Right, this is going to take a bit of working out, this. So you just follow the prompts on here, look. Dead easy, now it's it's dispensing a bottle, look. It's two pounds. Uh, right, here we are. So you choose your, choose what you want, look. Uh, you get milkshakes or milk. Right, hang on a minute. So I'm going to go for milk. One pound, it's one pound twenty now, is it? So it's... Right, hang on a minute. So there we are, it's filling. So it's actually cost me, what is it, three pounds and twenty pence, but I've got the bottle, see, so I can bring that back. Fresh pasteurised milk. Oh, cheers. Tell you what, that takes me back. Reminds me of the milk we used to drink at school. Oh. Oh, that doesn't have to take me back. Wow. Milk at school, don't get that anymore. So we're off. That, that milk, it did definitely taste different to the milk you buy from the supermarkets. I've just bought some milk as well in Aldi. I didn't never planned on coming down here, you see. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll, uh, we've got more milk now. Where's this car going? It's all over the shop. Busy road here, go 60 mile an hour. I used to come down here when I was first starting driving anyway, right? There's a thunderstorm out there, out in the sea. So I'm just going to make my way back home now. Um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop the video in a minute. It just sort of concludes the little trip out. Uh, it's totally never planned on going to the milk hut. I've heard about it, and the last time I went there, it was it was really busy. So. I sort of I pulled in and pulled out again, but uh, I'm glad there was. I'm glad it was empty there now, and I could get in. That is going to be a treat. That um, I'll get in now. My nippers will have some of that milk before bed, um, and I'll have a I'll have a cup of tea with it. So thanks if you've got this far. Doff me cap to you. Thanks very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Like I say, I'm going live Friday night. Um. So take care. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.